Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Rosie Rosette 2020. This is July 13th. It's always important for me. Hi, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to my channel. You guys, please subscribe. Please, please, please. Listen, it's always important for me to list or state the date or, you know, within the 24 hours that I made the video. And it's also important for me to put the date on the title. That way I can go back, I can, you know, tell you guys, okay, look around, you know, the beginning of April, the beginning of March or whatever, you know, 2020, and maybe you can look at this video. Okay, so that being said, I don't even know, did I make a video on this couple? Did I make a video on this couple? The two, the, the couple, they were attorneys in St. Louis and, you know, they were protecting their house. I, you know, now I can't, I make so many videos. I don't even know. I don't know, but okay, let's just, so these were two attorneys, two lawyers, a lawyer couple in St. Louis. And well, this article says that, okay, let me just bring you back. Um, I guess during the protest, they were protesting in St. Louis. Okay. I think I did make a video or I I mentioned this in some video they have the house that the Bush Anheuser Bush now Bush I think is that Laura Bush I don't know what whatever I wait, 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 wait anyway I don't know the connection there is a connection with Anheuser Bush and the Bushes I I don't know what whatever but anyway so um so they have that house, it's a big, beautiful mansion. I'm assuming in downtown or somewhere in St. Louis, okay? It's a beautiful man mansion. They have pictures of it or whatever. It's very, it's amazing, okay? So anyway, so they had the protest, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. They had the protest. They were protesting and these two, you know, there was a video of them telling people to get off of their lawns, they're trespassing, whatever. Their story was that they were just about to have dinner on the porch and then they realized that the protesters were coming. You know, I, I guess they were coming beyond the gate. I guess they have a gate. I'm not exactly sure. Anyway, so they, they, they armed up and literally you see them, you know, with their, their guns on this picture, you see. You see that? Let me see if you can focus it a little more. Okay. Yeah. So apparently that gun that he had was an AR-15. It was compensated. So I'm assuming that in, you know, in, in, um, in St. Louis, I'm so sorry, but it's getting um, hot. Mark and Patricia... McCloskey, right. They had to turn in the AR-15. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. So I think, I think they were arrested briefly. I did, don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. But um, claimed up to 500 demonstrators broke down their gate and threatened to kill them. So that's why, you know, they got their guns. Which... You know, I can understand. If there's 500 people coming to say, you know, coming to get me or claiming that they're going to kill me, oh yeah, I, I'm loading up. I'm loading up. Well, I don't own a gun, but still, I'm, I'm, you know, what I'm saying. I'm going to prepare. I mean, knives, bricks, shoes, whatever. You see what I'm saying? What, whatever. I, you know. So that, I pretty much understand but the video that i saw they were saying get off of our lawn like you are not allowed to be on our lawn and if there's a gate and the people are trespassing but i think from another video where a black woman was laying on the grass from what i understand you have to have a sign saying no tres trespassing i'm not exactly sure but if that's the case then you know I don't know if you can break through someone's great gate or anything like that, but you know, <laughs> that gun was a little much, just like the gun um, 
with the white with the Karen who pulled it on the 15 year old and the mother or whatever that was a bit much but the mother did threaten to beat her butt and the, 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 the man she was with so you know you just have to be careful you just have to be careful and I think that's why I per prefer not to protest because you know I'm a little hostile and you know my little temper gets a little out there whatever and I'm not I don't want to go to jail no, I do not want to go to jail. So, um, but they're attorneys. They're accident attorneys. Yeah. Injury. Injury accident attorneys, yes. Yes, oh yes. They, they must be getting a lot of money for those accidents and in, injuries or whatever because let me tell you, go and look up their house. This was the old Anheuser-Busch mansion or something in St. Louis. I don't know, but that house is fabulous so you know it looks I don't know I don't know if they have kids or not but you know that house was amazing and let's see uh, okay ask what the protesters were shouting at them Patricia added that they were going to kill us they were going to come in there and they were going to burn down the house they were going to be living in our house after I was dead. Wow. Okay. So, if you yeah, if you come towards me, you know, and I got my beautiful mansion or whatever, you know, hey, obviously they they save their mansion. You know, they might have to do a little jail time or spend a little money and legal fees or whatever, but their attorneys, obviously, they can, you know, they can afford it. The only thing I'm worried about, can you have your law license revoked for doing such activities or, you know, I don't know. I, you know, I don't know. I don't know why privilege is going to, you know, sink into them, but obviously not because, well, I don't know, but they did have the gun taken, you know, compensated from them. Ooh -ooh. Sorry. Our days are uh oh. So I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen. But um, I guess this is a developing story. You know, I guess we are going to find out what would happen in the upcoming weeks. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. I've never, I have cousins. Yeah, I have, yeah, I have, actually, I have a few cousins in St. Louis. Um, on my mother's side, I've never been. The only time I've been to St. Louis, I was at an airport. This was a long time ago. I think this was 24 years ago. And actually, I'm going to tell you exactly how I remember. The A's, mm -hmm. the, the baseball team, I guess they were going. It was either the A's or the St. Louis Cardinals or something like that. But they were at the airport. And I don't think they were flying Southwest, but, you know, they were all dressed up. And the the coach either it was the a's or whoever but the coach used to um because i i looked at it we looked at each other and you know i was like oh, okay but um we looked at each other but he used to coach for the a's now i don't know if it was the it, it, did he get traded to the st louis cardinals or whatever but they were all at the airport and i was like oh okay okay but i was with my little son yeah I was, I was with my son we were going to chicago i re i remember I remember that. Um, I know St. Louis has its issues, um, but I, you know, I don't know. I don't know because I'm telling you, if 500 people came up to me, I'm just not going to be like, okay, hey, no, you guys can't do this or whatever. I'm, I'm pulling out. And I'm sure if I had a mansion, I would have a room full of armory, you know, to protect and, you know, surveillance around my beautiful mansion. Let me tell you, I'm telling you that. That that mansion is it's regal, it's regal. It's almost it's not a castle, it's not a castle. Um, but it's nice. You know, ever since I went to Versailles in France, I've been there two or three times. I'm not a snob because I don't own property, but you know, when people tell me they have a big house or they have a mini mansion, I'm just like. Mm. You know, they, yeah. when you see a castle such as Versailles, you know, and the grounds and, you know, the quarters for the maids and for the work people, whatever, you, you kind of, 
are like, well, yeah, you know, it's nice, it's cute. You know, it's, it's not a mini mansion, but it's nice, you know, it's, it's cute, it, it's cute, That's, it's good enough for the, you know, the workers, the staff. <laughs> Let me stop with my poor broke stuff. But anyway, um, listen, if 500 people, 40 people, two people, one people say, you know, or said to me that they're coming to burn down my mansion or kill me and then that they're going to live in my house while I'm dead, those are some fighting words. Those are some killer words. I'm just letting you guys know. So if you guys protest, please leave people's houses alone. Please don't, don't do that because you know what? You guys are gonna pull up against the wrong ones and if you're trespassing and they shoot you dead, that's it, case closed, case closed, okay? All right, uh, have a nice night, bye.